Anywhere in Japan, you might see a group of people like this, earnestly writing in notebooks. They're composing haiku, a short style of Japanese poem. One of the most famous haiku evokes the sound of a frog diving into a temple pond. This is how it's read. Furu Ikea, Kawazu Tobikomu, Mizu no Oto. There are 17 syllables in three lines of five, seven, and five. Matsuo Basho wrote this poem 300 years ago. This format would become the standard for all haiku. It's a style of writing carefully followed today by Japan's over 5 million haiku enthusiasts. Writing haiku really sharpens your powers of observation about things, especially in nature. The city of Matsuyama in Ehime Prefecture. This was the birthplace about 100 years ago of the poet Masaoka Shiki. Shiki defined the modern haiku and made it popular. Matsuyama City has almost 100 special post boxes just for people to submit haiku. By each post box, there's paper for anyone who wants to compose on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, people place over 10,000 haiku in these boxes. Selected poems are hung up around the city. All haiku must contain a special word that indicates the season. For example, in Basho's poem, Furu Ikea Kawazu Tobikomu Mizuno Oto, Old Pond, Frog Jumps In, Splash. The word kawazu means frog, telling us it's spring. To write a good haiku requires a deep appreciation of nature and the changing seasons. This short, intense poetry form has captured imaginations around the world, and people are currently writing haiku in 30 different languages. Language differences make the 17-syllable rule impossible, so international haiku just stay within three short lines. One street owes itself to another street. One tree owes another. And because seasons vary widely around the world, overseas haiku writers don't always use special seasonal words. I love haiku because of the way you can fit such deep feelings into such a short poem. Haiku has a beautiful instrument to make connection with me and the nature. In Japan, we like to think that small things can be a crystallization of spirit and energy. We feel that even small things can greatly influence much larger things. The large is contained in the small. We Japanese have always been very partial to this way of thinking. Haiku may be the world's shortest poem, but it has a long reach, bringing together poetry lovers around the world.